Welcome to the channel. To those that uh, are new to the channel, my name is Henry Fair, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about myself, uh, how I grew up, in church, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I grew up, uh, was born into a Christian family. We went to church every Sunday, and also uh, I went to a Christian school from. Grade one to grade eight, and that's where I quit school to work at home. My uh, parents had a small family farm that we worked on. But uh, yeah, I uh, went to Sunday school as well and never really, never really read the Bible or anything, but I was taught right from wrong. And uh, yeah, basically we were just told and taught that we to get to, to get to heaven we uh, we had to be good enough and that's the way I um, thought it was supposed to be um, I was never really clear on the gospel uh, not even when I uh, yeah when I uh, got baptized into the church that I grew up in I, I wasn't clear on the gospel and I started going to uh, Bible study about three or four years ago where uh, the guy that was doing the Bible study he he went into depth of these different uh, passages and that's where it became clear to me that the only way that you can get to heaven is by believing and trusting on what Jesus did for you on the cross so um, yeah shortly after uh, my wife and I and my two girls that we had we uh, switched to another church uh, where they preached the gospel and was made clear as well. So, uh, yeah, I just want to uh, read a few scriptures here. The first one being Isaiah 64, verse 6, where, um, let me find it here. So, Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6, it says, but we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. So here, all our righteousness, meaning good works, things that we claim that are good, to God they are an unclean thing, and they're as filthy rags. So... Basically, we, we can't do enough good to get into heaven on our own. And then uh, I'm going to go over to John chapter 6, verse 47, where Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. So he's saying all we need to do is believe on him, and we'll have everlasting life and to me what I get out of everlasting life means we will be in heaven after uh, we leave this earth and we can know that we will be in heaven and that we can not uh, lose our salvation if you turn to John chapter 10 verses 27 through 29 it says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. So in verse 27 he says, My sheep which are believers that um, that believe on what Jesus did on the cross. And it says that they will never perish, they'll have eternal life, and no one can take them out of his hand. So when we believe in the finished work on the cross, which Jesus Christ did for us, we can be sure that we will... Uh, we can be sure that we will make it to heaven. 
And then also John 14, verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So here he's saying that Jesus, he is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. Also, to be saved, Acts 16 um, clearly states what needs to be done. And this is where Paul and Silas were imprisoned. And then the jailer asks them, um, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. So that is uh, Acts chapter 16, verse 30, the last part, and 31. And then, um, yeah, Ephesians verses, uh, chapter 1, verse 7 says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. So, with Jesus dying on the cross for us, he forgave us of our sins. So if we, to accept that forgiveness, we need to believe on him, and then we will have our eternal, eternal life through the grace of God, by the grace of God. Yeah, and then also uh, in 1 John chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, um, it says that John that Jesus died for everyone. So um, here he says, My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. So here it says that Jesus Christ, he advocates for us to the Father. So, And then verse 2, it says, And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So Jesus died for the sins of the whole world. and But only those that accept Him and as Lord and Savior, trust in Him, trust in the finished work on the cross, will get to go to heaven. Thank you for watching. May God bless you.